Hello everyone and welcome back to our operating system practical series. Let us get started and solve our third assignment of operating system. Which is a C program to implement rd command of dos or rmdir command of linux let me close the annotation so before directly executing our program let us see execution of rd command of dos which is remove directory command let me first create a directory named i'm randomly picking some name so dik and while implementing the remove directory let us first implement it rd dik Again, MD SSP CD SSP. So, right now I have changed my directory from Turbo C3 bin location to SSP, my newly created directory. I will create a file inside this copycon a1.txt. Copycon command is used to create text files. So, I have created a text file. In some versions of DOS, once you create a text file and press enter, it opens in the right mode. You can see the cursor blinking. So it is opened in the right mode. I have typed some letters. And once I press Control Z, I will exit from this text mode. All the execution which I'm showing now is optional. You do not need to create this right now. We are going to perform the same execution while we are performing our type command. So right now I'm just explaining, I'm just demonstrating you how RD command works. So I have randomly typed some letters. I'm pressing Control Z and enter. So my file is created. Let us check what contents it is having. I have randomly typed something inside it. So hello my file, I typed hello my file, one, one file is created. So right now SSP, this directory is having a text file inside it. Let us come outside and close this directory. Now I will try removing this directory. I am using remove directory command of DOS or you can use rmdir command of Linux. Let us remove this SSP and enter. It cannot remove. Earlier, if you see on the screen, I created DIK directory and I removed this DIK and it removed, it got removed because it was initially empty. It was not holding any file or folder inside it. But later I created this SSP directory. I changed my directory location and created a text file inside it and again executed the RD command of DOS and it prompted a message that it is unable to remove this directory. So what you should remember after this demonstration is empty directories get removed very easily. But if your directory is holding some other files inside it, you are you cannot remove it. So let us press exit. But for now, remember that RD command works how if you have already created a directory and want to remove it use command rd space directory name so again arguments are two we have decided to start counting our arguments from one so the first argument is our command which is rd and the second argument is the directory name which is let us say a1 this is the directory name so number of arguments become two let us press exit and come back to our program. Now let us first change our directory location from Turbo C3 pin to my location, which is 
my folder and ok again the arguments count has become equal to 2 so our main function is having argument counter which is of integer type and argument vector which is a pointer array of character type so again if arguments become equal to 1 we are going to display the message that is invalid parameters if the count becomes greater than 2 too many parameters and our code should exactly work when the arguments count becomes equal to 2 where if rmdir command first argument is equal to 0 which is again the command itself the directory removed message will be printed else it is going to give us one error so let us go through the code again we have kept our basic two directories which is standard input output directory dot h and conu dot h again dir dot h because we are implementing dos commands and for the working of disk operating system command and directory handling command we require this directory we, we took our main argument count equal to one argument count greater than two and the code exactly when arguments count becomes equal to two let us perform the compilation step the first step is compile second is make the next is link and finally build all do not forget to note down your exe name this is going to help you otherwise the program execution might get disturbed so in my case this is the exe name and i'll press enter now let us go to file dos shell i'm giving again cls command and enter so now let us create a directory maybe assignment 2 and i'm purposely going to keep this directory empty so assignment 2 is already existing in my list so i'll create assignment 3 oh it is also having one directory named assignment 3 let's go for md azx1 yes so this directory was not initially created in my folder inside my folder so i have created this directory and i have kept it deliberately kept it empty so while performing now removing this directory i will give my exe name which is dot dot backslash dot dot backslash source backslash rd1 dot exe space the directory name which is initially empty i hope this is going to work because i've randomly picked up i've written down the code so yes the directory is removed this is it so the directory got created and it got removed there was no error message inside it that means the directory was created and as soon as we gave our exe name space the directory name it got removed let us exit and come back to our program so this is it again the same format of code the same placing of code the only thing you're going to change is you're going to pass different commands under this section till this everything is same this is the third assignment we are going through and it has got the same format and execution type so operating system practicals are the easiest ones when it comes to executing them so this is where you're going to change your commands and that's it the only thing is going to change is the arguments when slightly you're going to go further and one by one when we go executing more commands the arguments count is the thing which is going to change otherwise maximum programs for operating system are having same format so this is it do not forget to paste your output in this section in this file and comment it do not forget to comment it otherwise 
the later execution will show errors so this is it and thank you